Welcome to EOS HD's Outside Broadcast Unit, which coincidentally is a small corner of my girlfriend's living room. So I've arrived in Berlin, and uh, I come from a very nice climate in England, where it rains from May to September. Beautifully cool summers, a breeze of sleet in April and May, sometimes snow in June, and then you get this lovely grey sky which protects you from the harmful rays of the sun until September. And then in October, it's winter. So very much like that. Here in Berlin, it's slightly different due to climate change. And tropical humidity, dreadful air quality, and the city's been ruined by climate change, and it's not even underwater yet. Quite impressive. But that's not the featured disappointment of today's video. Um, we have the new Nikon camera. Now, this is a camera which, for all intents and purposes, seems to be for the Chinese market. For oligarchs' rental wives with Prada handbags. I'm not sure why Nikon thinks this is the way to jumpstart their business in cameras. Indeed, the whole business relies on this product now. With Intel moving away as a customer for the chip-making business, Nikon Z shooters moving away to Sony. This is an opportunity now for Nikon to get right back in the game. Give us an answer to Canon. The R3, the 8K R5, although it doesn't work properly. And the amazing R6. This is Nikon's chance now to really do something spectacular. So what have they done? Well, seem to have made a Minox Leica M3. So a pretend retro camera, which is actually a plastic webcam. Now the Z50, which I've for some reason got, and I can't work out why I've got one. Uh, the Z50 is actually quite a capable little APS-C camera. Although it doesn't have many of the features that are so special about the Fuji cameras at the same price. Maybe a bit higher price, actually. Considering that 1000 dollars these days is entry level low end consumer pricing for a Nikon camera apparently. Uh, that puts it in sort of in terms of smartphone cameras as right up there with state of the art iPhone and Samsung Galaxy so yeah let's see which one the customers choose for their daily snapshots see, see which one they like best is it the Minox Nikon DF light version or is it the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra but let's cut to the chase I think the camera industry is in trouble I am worried about it and it's exactly for these kind of reasons it's in trouble it's not an engineering meritocracy anymore it's a bean counter a lawyer accountant salesperson industry They've risen to such a high level in Japan, at such a high level of uh, age as well, that they're completely out of touch with their customers. They don't really understand the market anymore. And somebody has told them that fancy looking silver cameras in a retro style are liked by hipsters in China, and they will sell a lot of them. In my opinion, this camera harms the brand in the eyes of their most loyal customers. Where, what on earth is going on with their technology? This is again a reused technology base. The donor camera already exists for quite some months. And I can't quite work out what happened with the D6 either. Because that was practically a D5. With a D6 badge on it. So... And then you have the strange, curious case of the Z6 Mark II and the Z7 Mark II, which were basically re-released cameras. Basically no more than what Fuji would give you in a firmware update for free later. So I find it all very odd. I mean, since the D850, it seems to have been rapidly downhill at Nikon, divesting in terms of budget for R&D and design. Fair enough, I mean, the Z9 looks impressive. I'm looking forward to that camera. But it really does 
look like a toy. I mean, if you're going to sell a professional camera, and Nikon made this mistake first with the Z7, which cost 4,000 euros when it came out, but had one card slot and basically looked no different to any other cheap mirrorless camera at the time. The Z9 looks like a slightly bigger version of the Nikon 1 series, say like the V2, and it's ugly, it's cheap looking, it has no culture in it, has nothing of the design ethos that Nikon is famous for. And now they give us this, with the FM knockoff, a knockoff of a film camera, which is basically plastic as hell, and has none of that kind of authenticity that you get from a real old Nikon film camera. If you look at the lenses, it looks like a plastic toy compared to the lenses that they were putting out in the 1970s. So this is why in a nutshell, albeit a rather large nut, this is why I'm very worried about the camera business and the longer this continues, the rot is going to kill the entire industry and they need to step it up and they need to get a clue at what their customers actually want. Or maybe the problem is the customer.